hi everyone i hope you all are doing well in today's video our objective is here how to write a dynamic date filter in sql query instead of hard coding hard coding the dates in sql while filtering out the data for required time period let's say if we want the data for year till date so mostly i have seen people do hard coding uh, the dates like uh, 2022 jan uh, first till today's date so uh, is uh, but let's say if we move to next year we have uh, and the report is automatically trigger every every day or like or at a particular frequency in the next year you have to change the date so that to populate the next year data to avoid any such scenarios in case uh, like let's say hard coding will work only if you are pulling out the data uh, once or like uh, for a ad hoc purpose but if your report is automated and it's an operation uh, for uh, going forward going to be continue forward in operations so you should write a dynamic date filters instead of hard coding so let's start uh, how we can uh, do that uh, for multiple things like uh, most of the use cases we do uh, year till date quarter till date uh, week till date month till date and some other scenarios also so we will see uh, most of the scenarios we we mostly use uh, over here so let's start so uh, most of the time uh, for the current date i use get date or sys date or we can use current date also so these are the three uh, date uh, like functions we can use in queries to get the current date so let let me show you first uh, running this query so it will show uh, the current timestamp you can see i am re recording this video at uh, 18th of september so you can see uh, this two uh, these all the all these dates first two are with the current timestamps and the current date is without timestamp so this is the only difference over here in case we want uh, we don't need the timestamp we can use a trunk function also let's say i want to remove timestamp so i can use trunk which will remove the timestamp and it will give me only the date got it so now let's start how we can uh, use the date filter for ytd so uh, my requirement is over here uh, i want to filter out the data for year till date so uh, currently i'm running the report in 2022 so it should be from 1st jan till date so how i can do that so how, how how we mostly write the query let's select start from uh, the table with then where date and we use between uh, date 1 and date 2 so here we filter out the data uh, for the required time time period so how we can uh, use how we can use this date 1 date 2 dynamically so here is uh, let me show you select uh, there is a function date trunk so here uh, i want to trunk on year for current time period so i'm using get date over here so it should be first of jan and for the year till date and the next function date 2 i can use get date uh, also and i let me use a trunk to avoid the timestamp so let's run it you can see jan 1st till date 18th of uh, Sept uh, it, uh, 18th of september 2022 so this is for ytd now how we can uh, use for uh, like uh, this is another scenario for quarter till date so the same function we can use date trunk here we have to define quarter same get date and as the date 2 we can use same the get uh, only this function so i'm not writing over here again so i'm just using it or oh, let me use a alias for your best why yes start date as quarter yes now let's move to next part uh, how we can use uh, for a month till date so mtd so it should be let's say if you are running on september it should be from 1st september till date 
so the same function we can use for uh, month till date also so let me trunk it on month get date as month start date so it should be 1st of september 2022 you can see 1st of september 2022 now let's move to a week till date so there is a most used scenario mtd and wtd only uh, in most of the operations uh, use case so how we can use for wtd let's say uh, uh, same function we can use for that also uh, we can we have to run one week then you can you can use either get date current date or sys date i am using get date over here so week start date here is one thing you have to remember uh, on uh, let me show you first so date you can see this this will uh, trunk on the uh, current week so here it's like 12th uh, of september so 12th is monday so this functions uh, count the week start date as monday monday till set sunday but in uh, few uh, organization week start from different days like say i'll take example of amazon in amazon week start from sunday so uh, what we can do for that we have to use the same but just we have to tweak little bit how we can do that let's say in amazon week start from sunday so how i can use that so i use same function but after after that i i, I can define minus 1 week start let me tell you so week start yeah, week start from sunday so it will give me every time uh, sunday started week let, let me show you also you can see 11th of september so 11th was sunday so sunday till date we can use a get date or like that so it will uh, every time report will run for week start date till uh, the running report time got got it so it uh, most of the scenario we have done uh, so there is a one more part i can show you there is a one more uh, use cases we mostly deal with so let's say these all are the uh, ytd mtd uh, quarter till date and week till date but let's sometime we have to go back let's say last 3 month uh, and till date la la last 2 years till date like that so how we can do that so there is a date add function so how we have to use let's say i want i want to go back 3 uh, month back for the current uh, uh, apart from the september i have to go back 3 month back to uh, see the numbers so last 3 uh, month till date i want the uh, filled out my query so how i can do that so i i, I want to go back by month here you have to define the integer let's say you you want to go back you have to define minus it uh, two so it will count it will uh, give a three month back including current uh, if you have to go after uh, preceding or uh, forwarding so for, for forwarding you have to plus sign then you can use this function let's say i want to go back uh, three month back from 1st september 2022 so uh, let's start so you can see over here it it uh, it trunked over to 1st of july 2022 which is 3 month till date you can see uh, september august and july the so july and uh, august and including september so it, after that in query we can use uh, and be between uh, this one like let me show you in the next uh, over here which how you can use in query part so in date 1 you can use this part section in date 2 you can use till date for till date get date so how this will filter out from 1st july 2022 till date which is 18th of september so most of the this is the like dynamic uh, date filters after after defining the query you don't have to change uh, this filters like uh, like this is not hard coded so if you jump to uh, next uh, next year or next month it will automatically uh, calculate the numbers accordingly so let's say if we move to october it will give me the last 3 month from august august september october so it's like dynamic it's not hard coded so i hope uh, 
you understand all this part and i hope you found this video helpful if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and share your thoughts in comment section so, bye bye till then we will meet in the next video